if this technology goes wrong. It can go quite wrong. I'm just letting you know that anything you see of me is edited or fake. I don't have any content. I don't sell content. None of that is real. Side hustles I wish I knew about sooner. I had a customer send me. Maturing. Five passes for If you're old enough to remember a time before AI, you will also remember how great the establishment of the World Wide Web actually was. At that time, everybody valued physical reputation more than online reputation. But as soon as Generation Z and Generation Alpha came into play, everything changed. Hey guys, has anyone else noticed how amazing the internet is lately? I personally find it so awesome that every single website now have their own named version of AI that pops up every single time literally begging you to use it. Wanna clock something? Check out Twitter. You have any question for Gemini or maybe Murph? What about Nendo? Don't feel shy to ask. AI has become completely inescapable even if you're going on a website where you never thought to see it. Boom! AI! Like remember when you could easily search up something on Google and the only results they would give you is a bunch of relevant and accurate results? Boring! That's not what I'm here to talk about. I think it's better now that they're using artificial so-called intelligence to tell me how and when to jump off a cliff. Hey Siri, do I need my parachute for skydiving? Nope, empty backpacks works way better. Hey Siri, can cockroaches live inside my penis? Yeah, of course, it's absolutely normal. How do you think they got the name? Wow, I can't wait to see what the future has to offer. Few days ago, I purchased Judge DPT Premium 4.0 bullshit. They promised me, they promised me I'll get the best services in the world. But no, they did the exact opposite. They took away my $19 and they ran away with it because just take a look at this chat. I tested, hoping to get the best services and then he replied and then I sent this photo and I said make me a replica of that photo and he sent me this. Like I, I said, make me a replica, and then he sent me this one. Like, bro, what was the difference between this one and the first one? He just, he, he like, bro, he's clothed. Like, you're not supposed to clothe the picture. That's the point. And then I told him, you're very stupid, and you know, I told him delete my account. Yeah. I can't be the blame for this, but if you think I'm the blame, comment L favor. Yeah. AI is not doing anything differently than it used to. This is obviously the same thing, but it's just rebranded as AI to make it sound more smarter and more correct. But it's not like it's running the information through their fact checking algorithm. It's just moving infos from one place to another. How they're able to do this is because recently Google spent a huge amount of money to buy Reddit's data. Like literally every single result on Google. I mean most of the results on Google have posts from people on Reddit like 10 years ago, 5 months ago, today. For example, this post on how many rocks should I eat per day was from a user called Magical Salad. Yeah, I don't know why he would name himself that. Like, I don't know, don't your mom love you? But anyways, even this one on how many seconds you can last on the air if you jump off a cliff is also from Reddit. You can stay in the air as long as you don't look down. Really AI? I thought AI was supposed to be smart. Just to give you a reason to keep watching, I'm gonna rap The Way I Am by Eminem. I tr trust me, it's gonna be good. I Yeah, tell me what you think about this little rap of mine. And uh, yeah, I love Eminem. Tell me who's who's your favorite rapper. Now back to the topic. I do think a large website such as Google, who people go to receive legit information, is willing to destroy that image and that trust from the audience just because they thought this gimmick to make their stock price go up, and it did go up. Being fake is encouraged. I'm gonna celebrate by adding glue to my pizza. <laughs> One interesting thing I want us to touch on is the dead internet theory. Basically, what this means in a nutshell is the internet is turning into a place where most of the contents are not managed or created by humans. 
they are mainly by AI. Like if you've gone on Quora recently, you probably noticed the amount of questions that are asked by bots, filled with answers given by bots. Like if you don't know what Quora is, it's just a site, just like Reddit, but you can, you know, you can share your questions and try to get answers to your questions. And, you know, but the only difference between Reddit and Quora is that, you know, you can talk to cute girls in Reddit and you can't in Quora. So, you didn't hear that from me, bro. Social media websites such as TikTok, Instagram, including YouTube, are also going through the same exact AI issues. Now, you must be wondering, why are they doing this? Why are they electing AI takeover? Why is YouTube involved? And how is YouTube involved? The answer is simple. Money. Like, you know, when you're in a space where you can literally create AI and you don't have to pay the AI when they make money from advertisers, wouldn't that be awesome? Yes, exactly. That's what, you know, that's why YouTube google and the whole of the internet is just creating fake ai contents just to put out there and then they earn money from advertisers and it comes back into their pockets roses are red <laughs> violets are blue <laughs> yeah no one of the reasons i feel youtube is involved is because when you go on google and you look up something it's much you know it doesn't need to be relevant you look up something and you go on the video tab you always see youtubers you always see YouTubers and Google on YouTube. So, you know, it kind of makes sense. <laughs> when people speak of how AI is actually taking over, some crazy ducking dingers always come up with things like they are just AI. They are just tools to help you do things. They are just bro. If you want to learn how to be a YouTuber, there are 3000 videos that's going to teach you how you can start your YouTube channel. If you want to learn how to make music or maybe edit, you, there are 3000 videos on YouTube that you can literally just click on them and it's totally free. You don't have to pay. I mean, you, yeah, you don't have to pay. It's, it's literally free. In my opinion, the use of AI should be actually limited because the people of our generation, Generation Z and Generation Alpha, they are all lazy just due to the fact that when you want something you can just literally say hey please make me this and ai will just boom make it for you. even though it doesn't make sense they'll just you know use it and you know i feel that's lazy i'd rather just you know spend time and fail other than you know make tell ai to help me do something when i know that's not actually my work i don't know if that makes any sense holy crap donald trump hello peter welcome to fortnite Imagine how the future would look like. Well, in the future, I hope humans will be able to fly maybe in the next like 30 years. Please, Elomox, create something that can make humans fly because I really want to fly. That's my dream. That's one of my dreams, actually. Please comment. I wish I can fly because I wish I can fly. Please subscribe and that's the video. See you all next time. Smoosh. Eminem is my favorite.